Writing is an art. It's a craft that requires patience, creativity, and a deep understanding of your audience. It's about taking an idea and turning it into something real, something people can read and connect with. It's about creating a bridge between your thoughts and the reader's mind. A big part of that is writing good introductions. These are the gateways to your content, the first impression that sets the tone for everything that follows, not just for your whole essay, but for each section too. Each part of your writing deserves its own unique introduction, a mini essay that draws the reader in. Think of each section like its own little essay. Each one needs to stand on its own while contributing to the overall narrative. It needs to grab the reader's attention. It should be compelling, intriguing, and make the reader want to know more. It needs to tell them what's coming, give them a roadmap of what to expect, so they can follow along with ease. And it needs to do it in a way that makes them want to keep reading. Your introduction should be a hook that keeps them engaged, eager to dive deeper into your content. That's what we're going to talk about here. How to craft introductions that not only inform but also captivate. How to write section introductions that really sing. Ones that resonate with your readers and make your writing unforgettable. Introductions that make your writing stronger and more engaging. They are the key to making your content stand out in a sea of words. Ready to dive in? Let's go. Together, we'll explore the techniques and strategies that will elevate your writing to the next level. From understanding your audience to crafting the perfect hook, we'll cover it all. So grab your pen, open your laptop, and let's get started on mastering the art of the intro. Imagine reading a book with no chapters, just page after page of text. It would be overwhelming, right? Section introductions are like those chapter headings. They give your reader a break. They tell them what to expect, and they make your writing easier to follow. A good section intro is like a road map. It tells the reader where they are, where they're going, and how they're going to get there. So how do you write a good section intro? Let's find out. The first sentence of your section intro is crucial. It's your hook, your chance to grab the reader's attention and make them want to keep reading. There are a lot of different types of hooks you can use. You could start with a surprising fact a provocative question, or even a short, engaging anecdote. The key is to choose a hook that's relevant to your topic, and one that will resonate with your reader. What kind of hooks grab your attention? Share your thoughts. Once you've got your reader's attention, you need to tell them what the section is about. What's the main point you're trying to make? What information are you going to share? Be clear and concise. Your reader should know exactly what to expect from the section after reading the intro. Think of it as a promise to your reader. You're telling them what you're going to deliver. And then, in the rest of the section, you deliver it. Section 5. Smooth Transitions, Connecting the Dots In this chapter, we will explore the art of creating seamless transitions in your writing. Transitions are the glue that holds your essay together ensuring that your ideas flow logically and coherently from one section to the next. Section intros don't exist in a vacuum. They are an integral part of your essay's structure. When you introduce a new section, it's important to consider how it connects to the previous one. This connection helps maintain the reader's interest and keeps them engaged with your argument. They need to flow smoothly from the previous section. A well-crafted transition can make the difference between a choppy, disjointed essay and one that reads like a cohesive whole. Think of transitions as bridges that link your ideas together, allowing your reader to move effortlessly from one point to the next, and they need to set up the next one. Each section intro should not only wrap up the previous point, but also hint at what's coming next. This creates a sense of anticipation and keeps your reader curious about your argument's progression. You can do this by using transition words and phrases. Words like however, furthermore, and on the other hand are powerful tools that can help you connect your ideas and create a sense of flow. These words signal to your reader that you are about to introduce a new idea or contrast a previous point, or on the other hand, can help you connect your ideas and create a sense of flow. Additionally, phrases like in contrast, similarly, and as a result can also be effective in guiding your reader through your essay. The key is to choose the right transition words that match the relationship between your ideas. Think about the overall structure of your essay. How do your sections fit together? How does each section contribute to your overall argument? By considering these questions, you can create a more cohesive and compelling essay. How does each section fit into the bigger picture? 
Just like puzzle pieces, each section of your essay should fit together to form a complete picture. When you plan your essay, think about how each section connects to the others and how they all contribute to your main argument. Use your section intros to guide your reader through your argument. A well-placed transition can help your reader understand the relationship between your ideas and follow your argument more easily. This not only makes your essay more readable, but also more persuasive. What are some of your favorite transition words or phrases? Do you have any go-to transitions that you use in your writing? Sharing your favorite transitions can help other writers improve their essays and create smoother transitions in their own work. Share them in the comments. We'd love to hear from you and learn about the transition words and phrases that you find most effective. Your insights can help create a community of writers who support and learn from each other. Section 6. The Power of a Question Questions are a powerful tool for engaging your reader. They make people think. They make them curious. They open up new avenues of thought and exploration. And they make them want to find out the answer. A well-placed question can transform a passive reader into an active participant in your narrative. Try ending your section intro with a question that you'll answer in the section itself. This technique not only piques interest but also sets a clear expectation for the reader. This will create a sense of anticipation and keep your reader hooked. The anticipation of discovering the answer can drive the reader to continue reading with heightened interest. But don't just ask any old question. The quality of your question can make or break the engagement. Make it a good one. A question that is thought-provoking and relevant to the topic at hand. Make it relevant to your topic. A question that aligns with the theme of your section will resonate more with your reader and make it something your reader will genuinely want to know the answer to. The more your question aligns with the reader's curiosity, the more engaged they will be. What are some questions that have made you think deeply? Reflect on those moments when a question has sparked a new understanding or a fresh perspective. Think about how those questions were framed. Were they open-ended, inviting exploration? Did they challenge your assumptions or push you to think beyond the obvious? The best questions often do. They don't just seek a simple answer. They encourage a deeper dive into the subject matter. As a writer, your goal is to craft questions that not only engage, but also enlighten. Questions that lead to discovery and insight. So the next time you sit down to write, think about the power of a question. How can you use it to draw your reader in, to make them think, and to keep them coming back for more? Remember, a well-crafted question is more than just a sentence with a question mark. It's a doorway to deeper understanding and engagement. Use this powerful tool wisely and watch as your writing transforms from merely informative to truly captivating. Section 7, Different Strokes for Different Sections Not all section intros are created equal. The type of intro you write will depend on the section itself and its place in the overall essay. For example, the introduction to your first section will be different from the introduction to your conclusion. The first section intro needs to introduce your topic as a whole, while the conclusion intro should remind the reader of your main points. Think about the specific purpose of each section and tailor your intro accordingly. Section 8. Avoiding Intro Pitfalls There are a few common mistakes people make when writing section intros. One is making them too long. Remember, your section intro is just a teaser. It's not the main event. Another mistake is being too general. Your section intro should be specific to the section itself. Don't be afraid to give away a little bit of what's coming. And finally, avoid being boring. Your section intro should be engaging and interesting. It should make your reader want to keep reading. What are some other intro pitfalls to avoid? Section 9. Practice makes perfect. Like anything else, writing good section intros takes practice. The more you do it, the easier it will become. So don't be afraid to experiment. Try different types of hooks, play around with different transition words and phrases, and don't be afraid to ask for feedback. The most important thing is to be clear, concise, and engaging. If you can do that, you'll be well on your way to writing section intros that shine. What are some of your biggest challenges when it comes to writing section intros? Section 10, your intro toolkit. Here are a few tools and resources that can help you write better. Section intros transition word lists. These lists can give you some ideas for words and phrases to help you connect your ideas. Headline analyzers. These tools can help you analyze the effectiveness of your hooks. Grammarly. This tool can help you catch typos and grammatical errors. 
What are some of your favorite writing tools and resources? Section 11. Go forth and introduce. Writing good section intros is a skill that will serve you well in all sorts of writing, from essays to blog posts to even emails, so go forth and introduce. Experiment, practice, and have fun with it. And remember, the most important thing is to write in your own voice. Be yourself. Your readers will thank you for it.